Namaste for TV9 News. This is Priyanka Deo. There's a new law in Denmark that bans foreign governments from funding mosques. Now, the law aims to prevent Muslim countries like Saudi Arabia, Turkey and Qatar, Algeria, Kuwait, Libya and Morocco and the UAE from promoting Islamic extremism in Danish mosques. According to reports, these countries are shelling out millions of euros to spread Islam in Europe. The law states, and I quote, the purpose of this act is to prevent natural and legal persons, including foreign state authorities, as well as state-run organizations and companies, from working against or undermining democracy and fundamental freedoms and human rights by making donations. Now, it's not just a few people in Denmark who've supported this law. It is most of Denmark's political parties who've recognized the need to fight Islamic extremism. According to Foreign Affairs Minister Matthias Tesfaye, this funding for mosques has ulterior motives. He says, and I quote, it's a real problem if donations are made from organizations that want to undermine fundamental democratic values. It was found that the Taiba Mosque located in Denmark had received 4.9 million Danish kroner from Saudi Arabia. That's almost 57 crore rupees. It's also been alleged that Turkey has supplied donations to construct over 25 mosques in Denmark in over six cities and towns, including Aarhus, Ringsted, Roskilde and towns Federicia and Holbeck. Denmark is not the only country which recognizes the need to fight Islamic extremism. Multiple European countries, including France, have already taken measures to curb Islamic extremism. But under Denmark's law, if a donation is given that's over 1,350 euros, that's just about 1.16 lakh rupees, then the person or entity that made the donation is punishable by fine. The new law comes into play perhaps with certain recent events that have gone on in Denmark. For instance, in 2020, an imam in Denmark forced a woman to sign a document which stated that she would lose custody of her kids and violate her family's honor if she divorced her husband. This document directly infringed on Danish law on divorce and the issue got the attention of Danish Prime Minister Mette Frederiksen. Frederiksen reacted and stated, and I quote, Sharia does not belong in Denmark. It's wrong, it's oppressive of women, it's not Danish, and it must never ever become Danish. An imam should not interfere in divorce at all. This confirms our fearful suspicions about the undemocratic tendencies that exist in parts of Denmark. Curbing Islamic extremism is necessary and it's wise for European countries to take fast action. This is because at present, Islam is among the fastest growing religions in Europe. Just look at the demographic changes of these countries over the recent years. In 1980, Denmark's Muslim population was just 0.6%. Today, according to the Pew Research Center, Muslims currently make up about 5.5% of the Danish population. In 1986, France had approximately 50,000 people who identified as Muslims. The Pew Research Center predicts that France's Muslim population will rise to 8.6 million or 12.7% of the entire country's population by year 2050. Germany, the United Kingdom and Italy also have seen increases in the Muslim population. Coming back to Denmark's new law, it's received support from members of most political parties including the Liberal Party, the Danish People's Party, the Conservative Party and the Liberal Alliance. Foreign Affairs Minister Matthias Tesfaye sums it up well. He says, and I quote, I take a deep distance from the extreme forces in Danish mosques. It's a real problem if donations are made from organizations that want to undermine fundamental democratic values. That's why I am glad there is a broad political agreement on the main ideas in the forthcoming bill. The bill may not necessarily solve all problems, but it is an important step in the right direction. For TV9 News, this is Priyanka Deo signing off. Namaste.